Welcome back to Inside Post Challenge, part of the Road to the Breeders' Cup sponsored by Adequan. This week, we're going to take a look at the Ruffian Handicap from Belmont Park. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Law. I'm joined by Ed DeRosa. Ed, summer racing is pretty much complete now. Del Mar, Saratoga closed the books yeah. uh, earlier this week. Mm -hmm. We are now moving ahead, looking Oak Tree a couple weeks down the line. Obviously the Breeders' Cup's going to be the big highlight of that meet, but yeah. also another big fall meet is the Belmont Park Fall Championship Absolutely. meet. Absolutely. Starts with the Ruffian Handicap, actually starts on Friday with the Bowling Green Handicap on the turf. Got a grade one event, the Ruffian. Major grade one. Got a kind of a short field in here though, Ed. Yeah, I think 7th Street probably kept uh, several away. Plus there was a grade one person lens in uh, near the close of the Saratoga meet. So some horses from there resting up. And the Alabama was not too long before that. So those horses probably pointing for a few weeks down the road. But 7th Street certainly stands out in this field off two grade one wins. And another runner-up finish to Seattle Smooth, who many thought could even challenge Zenyatta for the top of the division. So no shame in finishing second to her. But uh, she's the top horse here. But really, I like another one. Uh, Swift Temper is one I think will take some money. And then Luna Vega off the Molly Pitcher win. Short Rest is another I think can threaten. The price will be better on both, and they're both getting weight. So I'm anxious to see the tote board. Yeah, Luna Vega obviously uh, already ran against 7th Street uh, <laughs> two starts back, that being in the uh, Go for Wand. That's Saratoga, 7th Street was uh, pretty much in command of that race from, from start to finish on a very sloppy track up there at Saratoga right. early on in the meet when they had a lot of rain. Horse I like in here a little bit is actually the entry mate, unfortunately, and not going to help right. my price a little bit. Be a big price. Yeah, Skylighter, the other horse for Darley, goes to Grand Motion, makes it, actually, she makes her second start for Grand Motion. She's two for two at Belmont. Actually, the only member of the field that actually has a win at Belmont. Mm. And certainly that mile and a sixteenth, that one turn configuration. I, you know, I'm a horse for horse for course kind of guy. She fits the model. Maybe Seven Street will scratch and Skylighter will, won't take any money and they'll get a good price. Well, in the inside post challenge, there's no entries. So if you pick her, you're going to be more alone than those who pick the entry mate Seventh Street. But at the windows, you get them together. That's true. That's true. And speaking of the inside post challenge, got to send a congratulations out to Anicia. T from Irvine, California, who had last week's contest winner. She had Richard's Kid wow, in the good, Pacific Classic. Good yeah, pick. That was huge. Also had the uh, show horse, which won for the timestamp tiebreaker. Win and show. She gets a uh, rail trip in the three slot. But Richard's Kid, that's a huge pick there. So congratulations. She gets a $25 weekly prize. Hopefully she bet the horse. Well done. She yeah. Paid a lot more than Maybe $25. even the try. Yeah, maybe. Don't forget to get your picks in for the Ruffian Handicap for the weekly and year-end contest. Thank you and good luck.